Hello, APA Online. Captain Morrison here with your video update. Today is uh, September 21st, 2021. Uh, and this one, just a uh, fair warning, is going to be a little bit longer than normal um, just because I have not posted in a couple weeks. So a lot of information to cover. Thank you for uh, watching. Um, first off, whoa, too fast. First off, I just wanted to say thank you um, for all of your prayers, good vibes, love, and support while I was recovering from my appendectomy. I'm feeling so much better today than I was two weeks ago, so thank you. It's nice to know that uh, my APA family had my back. So uh, just wanted to say thanks. And then um, since we're talking about health, uh, I thought it'd be appropriate to start with the message from the school nurse. Um, so all immunization records need to be kept up to date at the schools. Anytime a student receives vaccines, the school needs a new copy of the student's immunization record. Um, this policy applies for all AP APA cadets, both in person and online. Um, grades K through five, you can drop your immunization records off at the 22nd Street building. Grades six through 12 can be dropped off at 29th Street. Next up, some information regarding some sports. Um, girls basketball signups. If there are any students who would like to sign up for girls basketball this year, the season starts October 18th. There's a link included in the, um, in the slideshow, which is included in the description below. Um, and that link will get you set up to sign up on the Google Classroom for girls basketball. If you've got questions, um, you can contact Coach Fathauer at jfathauer at goapa.org. Um, and then continuing on with girls basketball, open gym. Um, we will be having open gym for any girls grades 5 through 12 um, from 5.30 to 7.30 in the high school gymnasium. Cadets should have a physical on file to participate, um, and those dates are the 22nd, 23rd, 29th, October 6th, and October 7th. There is a calendar as well if you would prefer that view that is included in the slideshow, which again you can access in the link in the description below. Um, boys basketball open gym. Grade 7 and 8 boys basketball will be every Monday from 5.30 to 7.30. If you've got questions, you can contact Coach Fathauer at rfathauer at goapa.org. Um, baseball Open Gym is available for any APA student in grades 7 through 12 that has a physical on file. Please bring your glove and proper gear to do drills both inside or outside um, and or outside. Uh, questions, contact Coach Sturgeon at esturgeon at goapa.org. Please note the Open Gym for baseball today, the 21st, has been canceled. I just wanted to let you know this is something I'm excited about. Makerspace design challenges are coming in October. Um, please be on the lookout for more information coming soon. A reminder to online cadets that you are expected to be working in your classes every school day. If you're not logging in daily, you're being marked absent. Um, and if you're being marked absent, you may face additional consequences and or disciplinary action. A reminder that mentor check-ins are not optional. Um, if you are in grades K through eight, you need to be checking in with your online teacher. If you are in grades nine through 12, you need to be checking in with your mentor teacher. Um, you need to communicate with your online teacher or mentor regularly. When you're attending check-in meetings, make sure your webcam is microphone is turned on so that we know it's you on the other side of the computer. Um, having to work is not a valid excuse for missing your mentor meetings. If you need help adjusting your work schedule so that you can attend these meetings, please let me know. I would be happy to meet with your boss and explain why you need to be in these meetings um, and why we need to have your schedule work around that. OK, um, questions, please let me know. Grades K through two, a reminder from Captain Hayden that all grades, uh, excuse me, that all cadets in um, Grades K through two should be starting each day with about 20 to 30 minutes on mind play reading. This is a requirement for progressing to the next grade level, so make sure you're starting your day with mind play. Um, NWEA, NWEA for grades K through five. Captain Hayden will be proctoring the NWEA tests for students. Um, APA online students in grades K through five will be coming into the building on Tuesday, September 28th. Grades K through two will be eight to 11 a.m. on the 28th and grades three through five will test from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Um, students can be dropped off and picked up at the uh, front office doors at 22nd Street. 
Please note, students will be socially distanced. They must wear a mask that covers both the nose and their mouth. Um, they can wear their uniform or spirit wear if you have those items. Otherwise, please just make sure they're dressed appropriately for school um, and that would be fine. Snacks and water will be provided. If you've got questions or concerns, please contact our testing coordinator um, at ccecil at goapa.org or you can give her a call 765-649-8472, ask for Casey Cecil. Um, grades 9 through 12, this is a reminder that the following courses started on September 1st. Um, so if you are in these courses, you should have gotten an email on the 31st of August from me um, just explaining that these were starting. So digital apps, prep CC, intro to business, and ASL are all in Edgenuity and running. But please note music history and ethnic studies. There is no Edgenuity course, so you have to do it in Apex. I know that's not convenient to have another program, and I do apologize. This only affects a small handful of you. Um, so if you are enrolled in music history or ethnic studies, make sure that you are logging into Apex as well as Edgenuity. Um, I want to talk to you guys about online study sessions for grades K through 12. Tutoring is officially up and running for APA Online. Online coaches are available to help you study after school. Online coaches will work with you to reteach concepts and help you work through your lessons. Study sessions are available to any APA Online cadet by appointment or by invitation. The next slide has contact information for everyone. Um, some students have already been invited to participate. If you were invited to participate in these weekly study sessions, your attendance is expected. So please check your email to make sure that you don't miss that invitation. Um, we have been specifically uh, trying to identify students that would most benefit from this. So. Um, for grades K through five, if you have uh, stuff you need help with or want to study with Mr. Tool Whiskey, you can do that. Uh, he would be the guy to uh, reach out to. So vtoolwhiskey at goapa.org. He is also helping with grades six through eight. Um, and then if it becomes more specific and is um, more aligned to a specific content area and he is unable to help, then we will get you in contact with one of the high school tutors. Um, for high school, 9 through 12, ELA, Captain Rosbach will be your point of contact if you need help with English. If you need help with math, Lieutenant Renner will be the point of contact. If you need help with social studies, Lieutenant Carr is your person. Um, if you need help with science or math during the school day, please reach out to Captain Applegate. He does have time set aside, uh, depending on whether it's a silver or blue day, he has time set aside that he can work with you during the school day. And then um, if you are a high schooler taking Spanish and you're struggling, please reach out to Ms. Marquez. Uh, she will set up a Zoom meeting with you and go over stuff with you. So make sure you're using your resources, guys. Very excited that we've got this up and running. Um, we do have people available to help. Also, Skyward Gradebooks are being updated weekly by your online teacher for grades K through eight, or um, I am updating them every week for grades nine through 12 using Edgenuity. If you've got questions about your grade in Skyward, please contact your online teacher, and then you can contact me if they are not able to help you. Uh, return to in-person policy. Our current policy for transitioning to in-person instruction is to make that transition at the midterm or start of the term, uh, depending on space. So term one ends Friday, October 8th, 2021. Term two will start Monday, October 18th, 2021, following fall break. If you're interested in returning to in-person instruction with APA, please contact me. Um, and our registrar, Captain Shively, to be put on the waiting list. Captain Shively can be reached at ashively at goapa.org. Um, and then just wanted to let you know that in the slideshow, I'm not going to make you watch this whole video, but um, in the slideshow, there is a video covering National Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, established by President Lyndon B. Johnson, September 15th marks the start of Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, this coincides with the Independence Days of seven Latin American countries and kicks off a nationwide celebration of Hispanic food, music, history, and dance. In this episode, um, you're going to explore a few of the incredible stories that show just how rich America's Hispanic culture is. From a family of young Norteño musicians honoring their heritage to children bringing U.S.-Mexican uh, border, sorry, to children bridging the U.S.-Mexico border with sports, um, these stories celebrate just how much stronger our diverse nation is together. So um, in honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, I wanted to post a little something for you guys. So check that out. And, oh, sorry, wrong button. 
Um, lastly, have an outstanding APA Jets week. Uh, make sure you're joining my remind if you've not already done so. Text APA online. I'm sorry, text at APA online to 81010 and that'll get you set up to join. Um, so this is going to be a great week and make it so. Have a great day. Bye.